All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, through His only begun Son, Yahweh Shai, man. Peace and blessings to you, brothers and you sisters in the new covenant in the Holy Spirit. And peace and blessings to the small remnant. I believe in Gentiles and the faith, man. So I got some new covenant gospels. I was reading John 7 today. I read John 6 yesterday, too. And, um, man, honestly, you know, brothers just got to take their time and, uh, you know, let the spirit marinate, bro. You got to let the spirit marinate. And if you're struggling with any type of uh, spiritual infirmity or mental infirmity, man, just keep praying and fasting and praying for forgiveness, bro. Don't ever stop praying. The scriptures say pray without ceasing, too. So, you know, don't ever feel like your Howard Shot can't get you out of a jam, man. But you also got to put in the work. So y'all give me two seconds. Let me put this cup away. All right, so I'm gonna get that John seven New Covenant Gospels for you Israelites, man. Because a lot of a lot of uh, Tahars and you know IUICs, uh, I say IUICs, Nathaniel's, the Johannes, man. These people are not men of the Lord, man. They're trying to come against. The context of the scriptures. And that's all that's going on, bro. And, of course, we don't beat a dead horse. But we're also here to edify the sheep. And to nourish their spirits and their minds, man. Because Satan, through evil spirits, are attacking our heads, man. For you Hebrew Israelites and the New Covenant. Look at that John 7. After these things, Yahweh shall walk in Galilee. For he would not walk in Jewry. Or, uh. Judea, because the Jews sought to kill him. See that? Let me make sure uh, jury is what I'm talking about. Because that's because remember Jews is Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. But yeah, Judea, he shall be praised, right? So yeah, this talking about the Israelites or Judah. But um, now the now the Jews' feast of tabernacles was at hand. His brethren therefore said unto him. Depart hence and go into Judea, that thy disciples also may see the works that thou doest. For there is no man, one of my favorite scriptures, John 7 and 4, man. For there is no man that doeth anything in secret or woman. And he or she himself or herself seeketh to be known openly, right? So when you do something in secret, man, you know, if you're a beloved one, you know, we, we naturally don't do things for attention. If thou do these things, show thyself to the world. For neither did his brethren believe in him. See that? So his own his own brothers, bro. Yahushua's Jesus' own brothers didn't believe in him. Then Yahushua said unto, him, unto them, My time is not yet come, but your time is always ready. The world cannot hate you, but me it hateth. Why does it hate the Lord? Because the Lord spoke order and righteousness, man. Uh, peace, prosperity, and understanding. To the Israelites and Gentiles, you know, but the world loves chaos and confusion. They love wickedness, man. Because I testify of it that the works thereof are evil. Go ye up unto the feast, unto this feast. I go not up yet unto this feast, for my time is not yet full come. For he had said these words unto them, he abode still in Galilee. But when his brethren were gone up, then went he also up unto the feast, not openly, but as it were in secret. So he went to the Feast of Tabernacles in secret, you know, try to keep it on the low. Then the Jews sought him at the feast and said, where is he? For there was much murmuring among the people concerning him. Everybody talking. For some said he is a good man. Others said, nay, but he deceiveth the people. See that? Oh, no, he lying. He lying on beloved ones. So they were calling Christ a liar. They were calling Christ a dang, a dang deceiver, man. How be it no man spake openly, spake openly of him for fear of the Jews. All right? Because our own people, they hate God, man. They hate the commandments. They hate order, bro. They want to be like the nations. They don't want to. They want to be like your elders. Right? Now about the midst of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught, 
And the Jews marveled, saying, How knoweth this man's how knoweth this man's letters having never learned, bro? So they were telling they were asking the Lord himself, Oh, you didn't you didn't come up under the elders, you didn't come up under uh your pastor. How you understand this Bible, how you understand the scriptures, and you ain't even learned it. Right? Especially when you when you come out the world, especially when you when you get away from the lies of the world, man. John 7 and 16. Yeah, how I answer them and said, My doctrine is not mine. For you damn GMSalites, man. Alright? The doctrine didn't come from Elder Tahar, Rakar, and Gabar. It didn't come from K Camp. It didn't come from uh none of the beloved. And it definitely didn't come from the wicked ones. But his that sent me, man. So this is Yahweh, the boss, or Jehovah says in English, man. This is his playbook, the holy one. The only good one, man. If any man would do his will, he shall know, he or she shall know of the doctrine. And let me get that word he for the simpletons. It's the, the scriptures say he. It don't say, you know, man and woman. Let me see, man. Well, the word his goes into himself, herself. Let's highlight that, and it goes into what themselves, man. So it's talking about males and females, and I'm saying that because you have Israelites that lack common sense and reading comprehension. They'll literally see the word he or his and be like, "That's talking about all the brothers, all sausages, brother." No, no diddy, bro. No diddy. Okay, that's a replacement for no homo. <sighs> Good lord, man, my head hurt. But look. He or she that speaketh of himself, of himself, right, or herself, seeketh his or her own glory. But he that seeketh his glory that sent him, which is the heavenly Father, right, the God of the Abraham, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We're not seeking the things of our flesh. We're not seeking the things of our desires. We're not seeking the things of the world. We're seeking the kingdom. The same is true, and no unrighteousness is in him. Showing you that our righteousness is of the Lord, man. Our righteousness is not of us wearing garments. It's not of us even preaching the gospel, man. This all our righteousness comes through the comes through the Holy One. And use some logic. If He's the perfect unblemished one, wouldn't you want an unblemished record, man? You know, we all have blemishes. We have very, you know, sinful ways about us, man, that does not please Abba. So we need his righteousness to overtake us, man, because all of us fall short. You know? So let's not be proud. John 7 and 19. Did not Moses give you the law? No, nah, I'll do whatever you want to do. No, nah, eat pork. You got guys that claim they're in the new covenant talking about they're still eating pork, bro. But Christ said himself, did not Moses give you the law? And yet none of you keep it the law. See how a shy cuts you guys, bro. John 7 and 19. When you read the when you read the Torah, bro, the Torah was not the law of death and the law of sin. It was only sin because you didn't, it was only death because you didn't keep it, bro. It's, you know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Y'all want to, you can't even put down some damn swine. You know, and you people, oh man, I'm, you can't condemn those in the Lord. You're not in your house shy still eating swine, bro. Or not accepting his blood. That's why the scriptures say the 144,000 sung the song of Moses and the song of the new covenant, man. Roughly paraphrasing. It's a bunch of Israelites. Y'all just want to keep coming the door to you, mongery, while at the same time. Telling brothers and sisters to be single. You want to keep eating swine. You want to keep calling yourself by words. You want to worship your elders. Okay. You, how, why, like, why do you want to forsake immortality, man, and paradise? Y'all seek to Egypt for help. Y'all fear the white man. Okay. Like, come on, man. It says, why go ye about to kill me? So you're not even keeping the law. But y'all want to come slime. The Christ out, man, the beloved one. The people answered and said, thou has a devil who goeth about to kill thee. Oh, man, you tripping. Bro, tripping, man. He he talking about somebody killing him, man. We ain't trying to kill him the whole time. That's reverse psychology. psychology. You warlocks, you manipulators, man. You wolves and sheep's clothing. Trying to convince the Lord that he had a devil on him, man. And that's what, and that's what the Satan, that's what Satan does to his believers, man. 
oh man you know you you got devils on you I, you a devil you a demon because you talking about this new covenant oh you a demon because you know you're not believing the lies of the world oh you're a demon because you don't want to blend in john 7 and 21 jesus yahweh shall answer said unto them i have done one work and ye all marvel moses therefore gave unto you circumcision right when you cut out the foreskin of your loins man on, on the eighth day not because it is of moses but of the father and ye on the sabbath day circumcise a man right on the day of rest you circumcise a man for all you people see brother you press the microwave you going off no that's you making up commandments man making it hard to serve the heavenly father if a man on the sabbath day the day of rest receives circumcision that the law of moses the law of moses should not be broken Right for you, uh, Jake's. Are ye angry at me because I have made a man every whit whole on the Sabbath day? Because you like we're in the law. Since I want to make up commandments, we're in the law that's to say you can't heal somebody, man, or can't uh bring a beloved, you know, medicine. That's not working, bro. Yeah, brothers, ah, oh, you you plucking apples, you plucking. It. No, that's you straining at a net, swallowing the camel. That's why the Heavenly Father is going, to is going to destroy this confusion, man. It's too much devilish confusion. It's too many people going in circles. It's too many people staying stuck, man. Judge not according to the appearance, but judge righteous judgments. And that can come into many of things, man. So, yes, you do judge righteous, righteous judgment. Then says some of them of, of Jerusalem, is not this he whom they seek to kill? So our own people were looking at the Messiah like, man, you know, this the beloved one they want to kill. But lo, he speaks boldly, and they say nothing unto him. Right, so the beloved one was speaking boldly and with confidence, but in righteousness, man. You know, being a true believer. Do the rulers know indeed that this is the very Christ, the Amashiach? How be it we know this man whence he is, but when he but when Christ cometh, no man knoweth. Whence he is. Then cried Yahweh shot in the temple as he taught, saying, Ye both know me, and ye know whence I am. So you know me and where I come from, and I am not come of myself. But he that sent me is true, whom ye know not. So they don't know Yahweh, man. Right? They don't know the Heavenly Father. But I but I know him, for I am from him, and he hath sent me. Then they sought to take him. But no man laid hands on him because his hour was not yet come. And many of the people believed on him and said, when Christ cometh, Hamashiach cometh, will he do more miracles than these which this man has done? See that? So the beloved ones were seeking Yahweh Shah to do more miracles, man. Because like a part of a miracle too, beloved ones can be plagued with um, oppressive evil spirits, man. The Pharisees heard that the people murmured such things concerning him, and the Pharisees and the chief priests sent officers to take him. See that? So they were always trying to kill Yahweh Shai. Then said Yahweh Shai unto them, Yet a little while I am with you, and then I go unto him that sent me. Ye seek me, and shall not find me, and where I am, see that? Tither ye cannot come. So the, the wicked ones, the ones that really hated the Lord, man, you know, they, um, they're not going to find the Most High. Then said the Jews among themselves, Whither will he go, that we shall not find him? Will he go unto the dispersed among the Gentiles and teach the Gentiles? What manner of saying is this that he said, Ye shall seek me and shall not find me, and where I am, till ye cannot come? In the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus, Yahweh Shah, stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me. No, I said, come to your elder. Let him come unto me. No, I said, go to other men and women. Let him come unto me, right? The, the divine one. And drink. How do you drink? Read the scriptures. You got to read the scriptures, man. He that believeth on me, or she that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, right? Meaning you got you to what? Stay in context. The Bible tells you the world not to add or take away from his word. This is why you have so much evil and confusion going on in this world, man. 
which is why heavy judgment is coming. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water, man. But this spake he of the spirit, which they that believe on him should receive, right? So when you believe in Yahweh Shai, you die daily. You repent daily, man. You know, this is an ongoing thing. You know, the scriptures say, don't let your sins weigh you down either. You know what I mean? For the Holy Ghost was not yet given. Because that Yahweh Shai Jesus was not yet glorified, man. And it's dumb because you got a video of Tahar, man, talking about uh matter of fact, I'm not I'm not even gonna say what he said, man, but these these false prophets, man, they come with so much confusion. But when the Holy Spirit is in you and, and you read it for yourself, you can see um very clearly that these men are not men of the Lord, man. And um we have to be careful too for those of us in different positions. Um, cause the cares of the world can choke the word out of you, man. Uh, lust, it can be anger. It can be stealing, murder, whatever evil spirit we deal with, man, it can do a lot of things. So we need to put on the armor of God, the Holy Spirit, right? And the fear, the fear of Yahweh, the fear of the heavenly father and the love of the heavenly father. See that? So many of the people, therefore, when they heard this saying said of a truth, this is, this is the prophet. Others said, this is the Christ, but some said, shall Christ come out of Galilee, right? So, so should the beloved one come out of Galilee? Well, look at these elders, right? The Nathaniels on horses. Hath not the scripture said that Christ cometh out of the seed of David? And I might, I think I'm gonna do a lesson on um, a small, you know, a, a spiritual lesson or divine lesson on a uh, seed, man. Just to, and just just for edification, not for concupiscence or something wicked, man. But that Christ cometh out of the seed of David, and out of the town of Bethlehem where David was. So there was a so there was a division among the people because of him. But some of them would have taken him, but no man laid hands on him. Then the Pharisees so like it. Then came the officers to the chief priests and the Pharisees. Right for all you guys talking about you know old covenant. You know what I'm saying? H-O-Y, all you uh, One West camps especially. Not just It's not just One West. It's anybody. Okay? And they said unto them, Why have ye not brought him? The officer said, Never man spake like this man. This man talking crazy thing. Ain't, ain't nobody ever spoke like him. This man different. Then answered the Pharisees, Are ye also deceived? Have any of the rulers... Or of the Pharisees believed on him? See that question? But this people knoweth not the law or curse. Nicodemus said unto them, He that came to Jesus, Yahweh shot by night, being one of them. So this is Nicodemus speak, speaking. Doth our law judge any man before it hear him? Right? You can't be you can't bear false witness. The scriptures also say to uh be uh, slow to speak and swift to hear, roughly paraphrasing, and seek the whole matter, man. People are so quick to react and not listen and understand, or believe for that matter. Doth our law judge any man before it hear him and know what he doeth? They answered and said unto him, All right, are thou also of Galilee? All right, so are you from Galilee? Search and look. For out, of, for out of Galilee arises no prophet. Oh, ain't no prophet in Galilee. And every man went into his own house. So showing you, even in the new covenant, man, yeah, I wish I was being persecuted beyond measure. See what I'm saying? And, um, you know, so don't, don't, don't be surprised when you have a lot of, uh, Israelite camps and people online coming against the new covenant. Because a lot of times, bro, it's not them. It's just because they're under the curriculums. So I've gotten to the point where I just listen and I'm I'm more so worried about getting my heart right and repenting from my from my evil ways, man. Cuz I'll be struggling in the flesh so bad, y'all. Um But yeah. So don't don't worry about them. All right, don't worry about these wicked Pharisees and Sadducees. And that don't mean just do as thou wilt either. Okay, you gotta y'all gotta read the whole entire scriptures, man. And let and let it come to you, man. Don't rush it. Let it come to you. Don't overthink. Just let it come to you through the Holy Spirit. 
But with that being said, man, peace and blessings and shalom.